much, y'all. And she's going to give us the, strate the strategies and the strategic moves as to how a regular family oriented person becomes this very important school board trustee and what is their exact job and duty to us. Sister Brenda Crump, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Welcome to the Radio Waves again. And um, <clears throat> we'd like to get into that a little something. If you can, explain to the layman, what is it actually the job of a school board trustee? Well, actually, before I do that, I want to finish up with where we left off. Sure, no problem. With in reference to the school district not having an honor roll policy. And we are telling children that they are or aren't on the honor roll yes. for two marking periods now. On Wednesday, July 7th of 2010, the Mount Vernon City School District um, voted to rescind their honor roll policy at the request of the superintendent, uh, Dr. Welton Sawyer. And up until this present time, they have not voted to put back in an honor roll policy. Mm. So legally, there is no policy. You're holding children to a standard, to criteria or requirements that they know nothing about. How is this possible in other counties and other districts? Can this happen? Is this uh, uh, on borderline on the illegal? Yes, I would say so. Because is, you're, I mean, because you're looking at the student. The student is actually has to be the option, the greatest option for why we open schools. This is the designated reason why the school is open, so that we can create this thing called education, which is meant, education in its most basic definition means to find the greatest in one and pull it out. Is this, this, is this a form of the failure that we see in the district, and what is the position of a school board trustee in that situation? Well, you're absolutely right in, in, in one of the instances of uh, um, failure, because since this has been done, the in, um, children who have earned the status of honor roll has been dropped in our buildings mm. because there's this mysterious criteria and requirements that they were being held accountable for that they did not know. So these benchmarks, so to say, to try to reach, so they were not reaching them according to this um, inner circle clique that's making decisions in the district that's not fully um, welcoming all of our parents and community and constituents in the decision-making process. So therefore, that has lowered the number of children who have achieved the honor roll status in our district. Do the children know this is going on? No, they don't. And actually, we, we have children who are questioning. For example, the last school year, maybe they had a GPA of 3.0, um, etc. And now this year, maybe they have the same GPA, but on their report card, it does not uh, denote them as an honor roll student. And so now they're questioning um, why. I don't. I don't understand because they're not aware of the hidden um, criteria that's been set up for them to meet. This is very interesting. Very interesting. You go to school as a student, as a student, and your objective is to grab what's necessary to get the attention to go to the next level. And they're holding this information back. How has this information been found? How did you find this out? Well, I found it out because I've been asking about um, an honor roll policy for, you know, about two school years um, now. That I've been asking about the honor roll policy. What is the criteria? Um, you know, what are the requirements, etc. And in my asking of that, there was a situation prior to where children were impacted and denied their honor roll status, which brought about um, my awareness of it. And when I began to question the district about it and provide documentation to show by the former policy that they had existing that these children had earned honor roll status according to your policy and you're denying them this status. That is not legal because according to your previous policy, they've made it. And so when I began to pursue that, then that's when the unraveling of information began and that's when the superintendent moved to um, put in the tab for the trustees to vote on to rescind the policy. And he never put back in another tab for them to vote to implement um, a policy. So the role of the trustee is to make sure that the policies 
are implemented, that the, the policies are followed, enforced, um, you know, if, if, if we must say. And they still have to, they still have an obligation. <clears throat>